Well, we made a long journey out here and man, change of scenery. <laughs> Desert life. Well, yeah, look at the sagebrush out the window. So we went from the high country, well over 9,000 feet where we were camped, freezing cold at night. It is still 74 degrees and it's already 6.20 p.m. So not enough time for us to go hunt tonight, just enough, enough time for us to set up camp. It's new spot, new terrain, and uh, my buddy Jake, uh, his brother Jaden and their dad Jake Sr. Nice enough to kind of invite us to their area and, and offer to help us. They, they're horsemen. These guys are crazy good on horses. They ride quite a bit and they offer to help us pack one out if we get one way up in there. So super nice of them. New change of scenery and terrain and excited to see if we can get into some bugles. So we'll uh, find a camp spot and then uh, we'll kind of go from there. Welcome to the new camp spot. First things first, cook dinner. We're gonna have bacon sandwiches, bacon and egg. We're just gonna have ham and egg, but we're gonna have breakfast for dinner. All right, here's the first look at a uh, camp spot. So we're down in the desert. Check it out. We're down into uh, some of my familiar type of country. Cedar trees. My favorite. Sagebrush and yellow grass. It is warm. Very nice. That's a plus. We've been uh, pretty cold at night, running the buddy heater in the night in the morning. And uh, I don't know if we'll need it tonight, but yeah. I like this spot. Let me show you. Jumping Jack. Nice skyscape. A little bit of traffic up here. Looks like some people are hunting, but that's uh, to be expected. Bridget is trying to outdo me with her ham and egg. Ham win. I went bacon and egg for the win. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Toasted. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. No sandwich is a sandwich without ketchup. No breakfast sandwich anyways. Is this a sweet camp setup or what? Beautiful night. It's gonna be hot tomorrow hunting down at this elevation though. Well, thank you for watching uh, another how to not find elk video and how to move your camp video. <laughs> We're having fun. That's all that matters. We'd love to get into some elk obviously, but we made this really, really long move. And I think it'll be good for a couple reasons. My friends have seen elk in here. They've heard elk in here. And we'll get a chance to hang out with them and just kick it with them tomorrow. It'll be nice to see them. It'll be nice to spend another couple days out here with Bridget. So here she is finishing her ham and, ham and egg. Well, we're uh, getting up here quite a ways and we finally heard our first bugle at 2.34 miles. So we've been hiking for an hour and 26 minutes. So we're getting up here high now and uh, finally in some elk, so that's good. Good morning guys, welcome back to Colorado. It is September 24th at 6.22 a.m. We've got a few bugles around us, so this is awesome. Like this is exactly what we needed some thick cedars and thick oak brush so it is going to be tough but the elk are above us which is good because we got a, a really cold wind coming down i think we'll just try to find a decent path where we're not pushing through the oak brush that bad and try to get below these elk sounds like we have at least two wolves above us beautifully it's a thick mess in here so it's going to be tough Just had a spike come like 15 yards from Bridget. These bulls have cows, so it's gonna be tough. How close? 30. No way. But I couldn't, he wasn't legal. That spike came right down. We're just gonna go slow. 
Oh, well, guys, that was close. We uh, called that bull a nice five point. Probably 80 yards. I had Bridget set up in front of me. He was just too far. She saw his antler tips and everything, so most of the elk have now gone to the west, so we're just gonna kind of drop in this canyon while we're getting back into some bugles. Hope you guys don't mind. I'm trying to call, film, and hunt at the same time. Bear with me, we're getting in on the bulls. Sweet, look at that beehive. I don't want to piss those things off. What's up? <sighs> Good. Long time no see. Yep. How's the morning? Good. So this is Bridget. Hi. Hi I'm Jake. Hello. Jake. Sean. 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 Hi Sean. Close call this morning or no? Yeah. Yeah, actually. <laughs> Here, look at Jake. On a couple <laughs> like few different bulls. Very Call close. Call the bull six yards and giant six. Dude. No way. <laughs> so bad. Very close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, right above here. We were just, we were all over in them. <laughs> no, it's just what you, there was chaos. What? You spare a couple sleeping bags? Oh, hey, buddy. What's going on? Dude, yeah. Yes. Freaking sweet. Funny, Lexi. All right, guys, I'm going to show you Jake's. He's already tagged out this year. That's why he's up here helping Sean. So let's see, let's look at your elk. That's the beast? Yeah. Seven yards? Yeah, seven yards. <laughs> Dude, he's, oh yeah, here's yeah, the, re, here's I, I the re reenactment. Exactly, that's exactly <laughs> it right there. It was so sweet. He's heavy. Yeah, I mean, he's not too big, but for up, for up here, oh, man, yeah, that's dude. his stuff. Plus, right with a bow. <laughs> yeah. All right, he shot a big deer this year too. There it is, dang. Sheesh. Whoa, 200? Yeah, I was the net, 200. So. Really? How was yeah. the growth score? He is so he, symmetrical. I, he just netted him the. Damn. The... Jeez, that's that puts him in a perspective in the back of the truck. Yeah, if you see my arms aren't bent at all, I mean, <laughs> this thing is freaking big. Dang <laughs> man, go follow Jake. Sweet. Here's your shout out, Jake. Awesome. That's his <laughs> Instagram right there, Jake Junior Wild. Well, after some naps and eating all the food we brought, just about time for the evening hunt. We uh, try to keep our elevation. And Bridget says we need to stay high, listen for bugles. So that's the plan. Camp is way down, so we definitely want to hunt down. Long day when it's sunny. I wish we would have some overcast so the elk would be bugling longer. But they haven't been bugling since like 10 a.m. These guys are funny, man. They can get up here on their horses in like 20 minutes. Took us like an hour and a half. Really appreciate those guys. Well, we're back at camp, so obviously no elk, but we got dang close tonight. We had a nice five point just bugling back and forth, and uh, he wasn't gonna commit to come to us, so we just bombed off our ridge up his side, and we had that thing probably within 80 yards multiple times. Never could catch him. So we bombed out of there, it was a long hike. Man, this country is thick, thick oak brush. We got potatoes already cut up in the cast iron. And check this out, this is uh, actually tenderloin from my last archery elk I just barely killed. So that's just one tenderloin, I'm gonna cook those up. Unfortunately, we only have one more day, but you know what we say, the last day is better than the first day. So with our knowledge that we gained today, I think we'll get up in there tomorrow. So a uh, fun video, hope you guys enjoyed it. Wish us luck for tomorrow. We'll see you guys in the morning. Who are these strangers? How's it going they lived. <laughs> you still got face paint. <laughs> oh yeah. Where'd you sleep? Right here. This is your bed? Yep, that's where I sleep. Right. Where's your brothers?
We've got a big six point up here bugling. We just split up from Jake, he's going up the ridge. Hopefully he can keep him calling. Never could catch the dang thing. We had Jake and Sean go up above and I think they just had bad wind. We never did get an opportunity on them. And now we're just kind of hanging out on this ridge hoping to hear something. This morning wasn't like yesterday morning. There wasn't multiple bulls. There's literally just one bull bugle. But yeah, we got trails, beds, little bed right there. Bridget found a bomber deer shed. How cool. It's still in way good shape too. Yeah, I think it's a year old. Dang. Little guy with good genetics. Triple fronts. He's so cool. That's awesome. Trying to download to Instagram. Look who showed up. Shed crazy. Guess what I got for, for a snack? Oh, elk tenderloin sandwich. You want some, babe? I might have a bite. You gotta try this. My dinner was so good last night. Mm. I still have one more tenderloin back at home. Tons of hamburger, bunch of steaks. So, I'll be doing a lot of cooking videos when I get home. Look at that. This is our last day. Bridget's got school tomorrow. We could hunt the evening if we wanted to basically do a six hour, maybe seven hour drive home through all night and be zombies tomorrow. But if it's this slow, maybe we'll call it a trip. But before we head down, I'm gonna go check out that dead animal I smelled. It for sure was something dead over there. Plenty of birds up here, so you'd think if there was something dead, there'd be some birds on it already. If it could smell that bad. Now this is interesting. We're not far from what I thought was a dead animal. Bridget just noticed this blood here blood? and here. Look at all that blood on that rock. It's good. Not far from where I thought I smelled something dead. Like not far at all, really. Mm -hmm. We're 500 yards from where I smelled something dead. There's birds chirping down in that direction. Blood right there. Interesting, guys. We're gonna look into this for a minute. Sniffed it out. <laughs> what the heck is this? Is that a horse or? Oh my gosh, it's a horse. Don look at yeah, hooves. donkey. Do they shoe donkeys? Yeah, they shoe donkeys. Kind of got big ears, doesn't it? This is what we could smell. Somebody's been here. Because there's... These branches are sawing off. So somebody was here. They, it, they broke these branches down to bury it. I think it might be a horse because that's an awful lot of mane. What do you guys think? Is that a horse or a mule? I mean, look at the chompers on that bad boy. That's funny. I smelled this thing down the trail quite a ways. And I've just been looking at the map studying. It, like, it's got to be right there based off the wind. It's exactly where I thought it was. Hey guys, thought I'd hurry and shoot a quick video to end this video and this little Colorado archery elk hunting series. Just want to say thanks if you watched it all the way through. And uh, appreciate your support as always hope you guys are enjoying the series i am now at the lee k rifle range it's time to dial in the muzzle loader that my brother's going to be hunting with tomorrow and also shoot my weatherby 3378 because i will have an elk hunt shortly after that my next hunt 
is coming up this weekend and I'm gonna go hunt for muzzleloader deer. It's a general season muzzleloader tag in Utah with my brother. Always one of my favorite hunts of the year is hunting with my brother. So I'm really looking forward to that and I hope you guys enjoy following us along. We only have three days to get it done, zero preseason scouting, but luckily my buddy Jason and Jordan live down there and they always seem to know what's going on up on the mountain. So we'll see if we can get it done with Walker. But again, thanks for watching this series, guys. I cannot wait to get on the mountain once again. It's crazy when you're home for a day or two. Even though I'm so busy just unpacking and editing videos, I always look forward to the next hunt. So I hope you guys do too. And I hope you guys all have success on the mountain. We'll see you guys on the next series.